Hello and welcome to the Technomancer. I am RMP792 and it's quite a while since I played Mars Warlogs. You might remember that game from it's about episode 18 of the show, I think, somewhere around that region. And it was okay. It wasn't as good as Spider's other big game, Bound by Flame, but since Bound by Flame was actually the more recent game, I didn't actually have a problem with that. That implied they were learning from what worked and what didn't. So if you haven't seen the Let's Play of Mars Warlogs, you might want to go watch that, because I'm genuinely uncertain about this game. I'm not sure if it's a sequel to it, or if it's just set in the same universe. I, you know, We will find out when we play it. Because I'll be honest, I can't remember too much about it. You know, the, the plot was not one of its highlights. But, uh, yeah. Either way. So, my usual spiel for people who haven't seen the channel before. I record all my footage a week in advance. So, it's currently... Actually, it's currently Independence Day, I think. Yes, it's currently July the 4th, so... Uh, Independence Day. Or as I like to refer to it, the day the Americans stole the land we rightfully nicked. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah, so, so uh, you'll be seeing this a week afterwards. I record for uh, half hour long parts, and you'll get anything up to 25 of those in a week. That's anything up to five parts a day, Monday to Friday, for a total of 12 and a half hours of footage. At the moment, I have some stuff going on in my personal life that is limiting the amount of recording time I have available, so I don't know if you'll get the full amount of parts. Uh, but I will, you know, I, I will try my best. You know, so that that'll be a as it comes situation. But you should be able to make a rough guess as to how many parts you're going to get based on how many parts get uploaded on the Monday. Insofar as if you get, you know, say three parts on the Monday, that's probably a good indication you're going to have somewhere in the region of 15 parts total across the week. Fair enough. Good. So, anything else? Yes. Um, if you want to comment on this video, please do feel absolutely free. I do read every single comment. Uh, but if you're referring to a specific point in the video or a specific thing that I said at some point in the video, it would be very helpful for me if you could timestamp the point at which I said it or the point at which you're referring, purely because that way I know what you're actually referring to, and it saves me having to scroll through the video to find, uh, you know, to find it. Because obviously I don't have time to sit down and rewatch all these videos. But let's face it, if I'm trying to record 12 and a half hours of footage a week, that gets you know, long-winded. So yeah, I think that's basically it. Oh, Patreon! I do have a uh, Patreon. That's Patreon.com/RMP792. Link in the description. And there's various perks you can get if you sign up for that. So, you know, just have a look at it, see if you can afford to do that. Especially since I now, having looked, it looks like uh, the guys who made the Sakura games have actually made something that could almost qualify as a game. You know, this one's supposed to have actual gameplay. So, you know, if, if you want to see me play that, I'm afraid that, you know, if you want to see me put myself through that, we're going to have to get uh, up to the Sakura month level of pledging, so you know. If you can, that'd be great. But either way, so I think that's all I've got on this initial spiel, so let's go. The buzz about this game is not great, if we're honest. Now, the last time I played normal on a Spiders game, I got my ass handed to me royally. Oh, and then easy was just too easy. So I'll try normal, and if I have to turn it down, I have to turn it down. But yes, the buzz about this game is kind of mixed. You know, some of the sort of slightly larger-ish critics have been basically saying it's dross, but it's currently sitting at a 73% rating on Steam, I think. So, dum de dum de dum At the source of all life, there is water. On Mars, where it is rare, water is a source of conflict, struggle, and death. Since the turmoil, there have been unending wars, fought over the possession of clean water. Makes sense. We are the forgotten children of Earth, trapped in this red, barren wasteland. 
Here, hell is not a concept. It's our reality. And the reality is that every drop counts. Then there were the unfortunates. Caught in the full power of the sun's radiation. Forced to deform, mutate into unrecognizable monsters. Oh, charming. The others? The ones who remained similar to our ancestors in likeness? Hid under massive metal shells, governed by water corporations. But in the slums, people's lives aren't worth much more than the mutants. Mm. And I would know. That's where I spent the first ten years of my life, under the boot of the Bori. Of course, in despair, there is hope. Oh boy, spider's sexual politics going Some in again. Begun to explore, travel even, from corporation to corporation, leaving their loyalties behind. We have organization, structure, and inevitably, politics. We have rulers, a people's assembly, and far removed from us, the Dowser, the inaccessible face of abundance. I'll admit, I'm liking this opening cinematic. And finally, there's us. The elite protectors of the people. The spearhead of the army. My brothers and sisters who all share the same special gift. We are Technomancers. Yes, doesn't look like... Ooh, customizable main character, that's new. Didn't have that in the last one. God, some of these guys look a bit creepy. Yeah, I think I've cycled through the options. Uh, let's go with that guy. It's always great when you get around the end of the loop and it just goes from really, really dark to kind of pale and scary looking. <laughs> let's go with that. I love the fact that all the hair looks like they're sticking up. <laughs> Also, is it my imagination? Has he got cybernetic arms, or is that just his jacket? You know, it's no gender choice this time, as opposed to Bound by Flame. I don't mind that. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. An RPG doesn't need to have a gender choice if they... You know, I've always liked slightly creepy eyes you know, on my RPG characters. Okay, talents. So, remaining points to spend one. Science level one unlocks level one contextual science actions. Increases the chance of success in dialogue of science by 25%. Greatly increases life regeneration outside combat, including for companions. Potentially useful. Okay. Crafting. Alright, I'm the guy who likes to be able to you know, talk my way out of problems where possible. And crafting's always a big part of Spider's game, so it's going to be either crafting or possibly charisma. And I as I say, next point comes at level 5, and I don't know how quickly I'm going to level up, so... Let's put the point in science, shall we? Because that's very me. And then attributes. And again, one point. So, strength improves the power of hand-to-hand -hand attacks. Most important attribute for a warrior. Agility. Most important attribute for a rogue. Most important attribute for a technomancer. Well, we're all technomancers, aren't we? But uh, we're a guardian. Okay. So yeah, it's your classic melee damage, speed, power damage. Hmm. Well, I always like playing as kind of slightly magey characters, so power makes sense to me. And yep, I think that's a reasonable initial build. Ahoy, 
Zachariah. Scott, you came. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sure, my memory isn't what it... But I remember to write things down on my calendar. Although I do sometimes forget where my calendar is. Anyhow, I knew your last cadet mission was today. Any Got the nerves? frame rates all over the place. Consolation. You look more than fit enough. No, I'm good. I'm ready. Mm hmm. Yes, healthy flush of the skin. No rapid eye movement. You don't look stressed out. Very well. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, but if I can bother you, just a moment. <coughs> I, I recently acquired a batch of materials that can improve your gear. It's not much, but I thought you'd like it. You can't still... still can't believe you're going to be an officer soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Scott. It means a lot. He uh, does not sound well. I fear we've dilly-dallied on pleasantries. Your master, Sean, waits for you in the courtyard. <laughs> so stiff, that one. I fear his spine is concocted from steel. A spine prosthetic. How interesting. What if... Oh, and stop by the clinic and come shoot the chit chat. No, no, that's not. Just don't be a stranger. If you feel ill or need a hand, come see me. I'm always. Glad if he's a doctor, that's kind of worrying. Luck, my boy. Thank you, Scott. Will do. Even though he seems to be really out of it. Yes, the frame rate can't decide if it wants to be 30 or 60, and it keeps yo yoing. It's always kind of annoying. Okay. Ah, we have a workbench. Serrated Tanto, which I'm assuming is our current weapon. Weighted Monkey Wrench. Ooh, a staff, a shield, pistols, gloves. Ah, so we're carrying all these things at the moment. Okay. Assuming and no item on the head, basic cadet's jacket, Technomancer's boots. There should be a space there. Usable items. Yes, this is looking very familiar already. Let's look at my cadet's gloves. And level one could get a level critical one blah, level one crit upgrade. Which can Ah, okay, requires electrical debris, which we don't have. Yeah, a bunch of stuff we don't have. It's fine. So yeah, it's the classic. Uh, once we've got some stuff, we can start upgrading stuff. I just look like uh, looking at this stuff. And again, they've still got the good sort of you know, details that change significantly when you uh, add stuff to them. This I like. It's always annoying when you add something to a uh, weapon in a game and it looks exactly the goddamn same. Hello, fellow technomancers. Answers. Every time they come around, something new is broken. I fix it, they break it again. I fix it, they break it worse. I'm a modern fucking Sisyphus task pissing in the ocean. <laughs> Interesting uh, reference. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Sisyphia and, uh, you know. Metal debris, poor quality levy. Find some items, you can pick up various items and components, containers and bodies to upgrade your equipment, but don't get overloaded. Dude, could you have picked a more dramatic way to open that door? I find it interesting that you stuck the same set of scars, no matter what customizerable appearance you go for. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 All of that, he just, he was just completely resigned there, that was, oh boy, here it comes again. Today, as you know, marks your final mission as a cadet. I trust you are prepared. Of course, Master. Ready, willing, and able. And a little nervous. Normal and expected. That's why I have gathered together your usual instructors to allow you to warm up and prepare. It's for you to ace the tests for each fighting technique. Prepare yourself. And once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. 
I love some of the weird background Thank animations. I mean, especially earlier when um, train in the different styles of combat. Okay. Hello, Mr. Soldier. Not really in the rule book, so if you do, need to be discreet. I will train to use a knife and a gun. All right. Okay, lock on. You to not try anything. Slash. Okay. It's interesting, they put dodge on the right mouse button. Space to thrust. I might swap that in the options menu, because that feels weird. And V to put it away. Okay. Nah, I think I'm good, thanks. Another time, maybe. Don't underestimate stealth techniques, or how much faster you can be in combat with light weapons. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, uh, options menu. Game controls. Okay, dodge. I want to be space, and I want secondary attack to be now. Attack there. There we go. Much better. Because <laughs> that was the weird way around. Is there a quick save button? I think that probably is. And it's F5. That's fine. As things, a general rule, I don't mind what the quick save button is as long as there is one. I will train to use a mason shield. That's your spirit. Here we go. Switch the guardian style. Oh, that's my block. Let me hit with the mace. Let's shield bash. That's interesting. The control. It either didn't save the controls, which is possible. I'll need to double check that. Your call. You're gonna wish you had some good defensive training, though, when you find yourself in trouble. Yes, thank you, soldier. Nope, it didn't save it. Okay. Confirm that. Thank you. Much better. If Master you would like Connor. To practice your technomancy techniques or care to do some staff training, I have time. Uh, I will try to use a staff. Honored to learn what you have to teach. Excellent. Said to switch to the warrior style. <laughs> Give it space to dodge. Ah, disrupting attack. Okay. I'm liking the uh, staff, I've got to say. Yeah, the staff is very me. Yes, I am hitting him. He appears to be down. I think it's annoyed that I changed the control scheme on it. So let's change the control scheme back. To get it down to un. Uh, control for an area attack. 
And V to put it away. Okay. Here to fight again. Uh, I will learn to control technomancy. Yeah, a little brush up on my technique had never hurt. Indeed. Remember to attend to your surcharge risk. I would hate to have an accident. Technomancy powers can be used with any style of combat. Some permanent effects use fluid that do not deny your fluid charges. Okay. Sign arts in the technomancy. Okay, so. Let's use that to one. Electric arcs. And yes, I still want to uh, change the control scheme back, but uh, would you care to fight again? No, I think I'm good, thank you, sir. I would love to. Another time, Master. Thank you. Of course. Keep in mind, a well-trained staff can be quite formidable, and as you know. The control over our technomancy is what makes us unique. Hmm. So I can deactivate that to get uh, some fluid back. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so. Let's try doing it with the control scheme again because I. Damn it, I'm gonna have this control scheme the way I bloody want it. And seriously, who the hell puts secondary attack on space? That's just. Bizarre. She's my weapon. Soldier, please let me in. It's imperative I speak to someone in charge. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but no civilians are allowed in the barracks. If you have a question, you're gonna need to send it. Hey, I'll talk to Captain her. Sean, you're heading out to the station. You leaving now? <laughs> yes, I think I'm finished yeah, with combat already. training. Trash seems lost, don't it? You forget we don't want your kind around here, Trash. Move your sorry ass out of here before you find yourself bleeding from both ends. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to speak. Did I? You useless piece of shit. Stand the hell down, or I will break your face. Please, I can't. Shut your mouth and just fucking die. The corpse will feed the rats. At least then you have a purpose. Charming world. Such a waste of life. A waste of space, am I right? A rogue is a rogue is a sack, right? You can dress him up, but... Zachariah, we're leaving. Certain people are graduating to the rank of officer today. And he's not one of them, I presume. serve only contempt to one worthy of nothing more. That is good. And with that... We should be off. Agreed. <laughs> That's a charming planet. I mean, it was it was quite the hellhole in Mars War Logs, but you never really got to. Look, Zach, we are heading for the dome. It was built by the first settlers, the relic itself. And what's there for us? According to reports, looters, who in our interest, it would be best to keep out of the dome. Alright, let's go kick their asses. After I look down here. Because why wouldn't I? It's an RPG, and there's stuff. Poor quality leather. Yep, take everything. Can't go through here. Can't get it open yet. Which means we'll have to come back this way later, which is fine. Zachariah, do you remember your first lesson? 
on the scarcity of life? Indeed, the very one. Kill a fellow unfortunate, and in this hell, only the more alone we will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives. Okay, I'll hit them with a staff until they have the decency to fall over. Because as I say, staffs are very mean. As weapons go. Yeah, it didn't take that. Oh, God, screw it. I'll just learn to use this button layout, because I can't be asked to keep dicking around with it. Now, is it my, was it my imagination, or did the asshole at uh, the station have the same last name as this guy? Surely, though, if we just beat these guys up, they're going to come back. Yes, we can search these guys, or we can kill them for uh, stuff. Ooh, craftsman shirt. Take it. What? I did not say kill him. All oh, right. So, uh. so he wasn't a lootable corpse, and I killed him as a result. Whoops. Sorry. Mia Kelpa. <laughs> so we have a jacket, or we can put on this craftsman shirt, which yeah, lower fluid regeneration, better resistance, resistance to electricity up, yeah, better crafting, but requires agility one, which we don't have. I'm quite sorry I pushed the wrong we button. Approach our destination. Take note that enemy forces lie in wait. There, the rocky outcrop. Scale it and report back your findings. So yes, sir. You know what, that's probably a good point to end this part. Ah, I can climb up there, excellent. I think I'm going to end this part here, so I'll say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.